get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with similar height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 20 wins, seven losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Brasilia, Distrito Federal, Brazil. Introducing the challenger, Vicente the Silent Assassin. Luke And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 19 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC. Champion of the world, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bear my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch gloves. is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this? Fight? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Back mount now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. That is it! And that'll do it! It's over! It's over! <laughs> yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So, back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight.
All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, six seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC Walter White champion of the world, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare, so the celebration is officially on after a successful UFC welterweight title defense here tonight. He will go out the same way he came in as the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. He is your winner by knockout. And what a way to send a statement to the rest of the contenders in this division that it is going to take a monumental effort to dethrone this 170-pound king.